Good afternoon and welcome to another Train Simulator Rails and Gamer video. Um, a bit of uh, context, today we're going to be looking at installing Railworks or Train Simulator freeware content um, from freeware developers, for example places like DP Simulation, Alan Thompson Simulation and whoever else develops uh, content. Quite often you, when you download freeware stuff you will actually get a file which is known as a RWP file which is a Railworks file and you have to install it yourself. Um, for example if you're installing stuff from like Armstrong Powerhouse, Steam itself, Steam does install its stuff automatically so all you need to do is go through the buying stages however when you you know get freeware stuff you actually have to do it yourself I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, so we're going to actually just download a file now just a sort of a random one really so if we go to, we'll go to DP Simulation, uh, which is this one here. Specific Cotspur Simulation, there we go. So if we go on the DP Simulation website and say we've got Roots here. If we then scroll down to Route we like, so I don't know, let's do the North East London one just here. And then if we find the download button, which is down here somewhere. It's a, bit of a, it's a bit of a long way down. Just make sure you are actually clicking on the, the proper download button. So quite often you'll have ads um, which will ask you to download stuff, which it, it, you know it's not the same one. So you're going to look for a button like this, which is just download. Once it's done that, I'll give you a go. So it's now doing it in this corner up here. Once that opens, I will show you what to do next. So it should be downloading as a zip file right now and you can do this with any of the trains and later content which is freeware so once that's done it should open so now it's downloaded we can see it in our download folder which is just here um, it's actually come as a zip file so you can use any kind of um, unzipping software I'd recommend you use 7-zip so you're just going to go right click here 7-zip we're just going to do extract files and it's going to ask where we want to put them uh, we're going to make a new folder on our desktop, I believe, so it's just a tidy so a new folder and we'll call this root, just like that. Click OK. And it's now going to extract the files, so if we click OK to this. There we go, so it should be done now. So if we can head back to our desktop, um, we can see in here we've got the folder which has all the, uh, the data in and the most important, the RWP file, which is here, which is which holds all the content for the for the route. Um, so with this file, we now need to navigate to our utility software, which is built in with Train Simulator. So if we go to our, um, if we now go to, sorry, my phone's went off there. Uh, if we now go to our Steam directory, which my for me is in here. However, primarily it will probably actually be on your C drive and not this drive, I'll just move mine so it's a bit quicker. So you want to go to this following, so pretty much just follow this link. So Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks, and we're going to get down to this file and we're going to open a bit of software called Utilities, which is just here. As I said, all Train Simulator comes with it, and I'm just going to do that. Open it, and this will open what is known as utility. So this is what handles the packages that you install into Train Simulator. So we're now going to go to Package Manager, and we're now going to do. Sorry, we're going to yeah, we're going to go to Package Manager and click Install, and it's going to ask us to select the file we want to install. So we're going to go back to our desktop and to Root, and we're now going to find that RWP file which is just here. After you click that, click Open. Um, although I've already done this before, um, if it said it to click OK, um, it's only said this because I've already got the root installed. So just click OK and it'll work its magic just now. So once that's installed, your the uh, loading bar will just disappear like it is now. Um, and that means it's already installed. So if we go to Steam, uh, this might take a second because no doubt it has an update to do. <laughs> Typical. Um, click Train Simulator and it should just be sat there ready to go. Library. That one. Let's do that. And hopefully it should be sat in there.
and there it is it's installed just there so that's how we do that one so I'm now going to show you how we do Armstrong Powerhouse uh, content let's say we go to the Armstrong Powerhouse website just to download content how we normally do so open it and then we're going to install the tracking part of that which is just here that's going to download to my desktop that's where my file location is and then we just run it like this so on our desktop we can see it's downloaded it's just here so we open it and to run these you need to actually extract them again however it's got an inbuilt extractor so just open the file that downloads from Armstrong Powerhouse open the executable application here and it's going to ask if I want to write so we're going to do extract tool it's going to open the file asking why I want to extract it so I'm going to keep that as it is uh, it says another folder on my desktop just in this corner just here and it's going to hit run it's now going to open um, the new extracted files and we just open them like this it's going to ask if I want to run them pretty much because of Windows protection so user access control um, obviously I trust Armstrong Powerhouse um, I know they're not going to be doing it send me any dodgy files so we'll go to more information and then run anyway uh, if you accept that you're doing it at your own risk um, I'm pretty much liable for that is if you start doing that with content that not from a trusted provider um, so go next um, accept the terms and conditions um, yep this will automatically detect the directory of your railworks and train simulator folder so you don't need to change it unless it is obviously wrong but it should find it itself next and it's just going to install it just like this uh, wait for the batch file to run which is this one here and once again that is all done and we review you in train simulator so that's how we do the main two types of content obviously with steam when you purchase like you know dlc it will actually just install automatically when you run train simulator so you don't need to worry about that but for train simulator freeware stuff for train simulator sort of dp simulation freeware files um you need to use utilities which is this application just here to install it i hope this video is helpful and i will catch you in the next one